Hi everybody, I'm Glenn Dodds. I'm a physiotherapist here at SportsMed. And today I'm gonna to be talking about spiky balls or trigger point balls. Here we have two spiky balls. They're about three or four different sizes. The large one's about a 10 centimeter ball and this one is a 7.5. This one is the one we commonly use because it's very portable and it gets into the, all the areas that we need to get into. You'll see it's nice and hard and firm and that's what we need, something that's gonna be solid that won't break down. Why is this so important? Because with all the things that you do during the day, you get tight and sore in various groups. So this is a way of managing yourself through all those problems. And particularly if you're into training, before your training starts, working out what's stiff and sore and getting them loose before training, and certainly after training to release all those tight muscles from training, it's a very useful aid. What we're going to do today is show you how to use the ball, particularly on the areas around your hip. It can be used in different other areas, but particularly when you're in a job where you're sitting all day or where you're training, you're going to get really tight and sore. Where do you get particularly tight and sore? That's on the outside of your thigh, under your big gluteus, gluteus maximus muscle, or that's the biggest glute muscle we have, Underneath that muscle is a lot of smaller muscles that are get quite easily get tight through training and sitting down. Effectively restricting the rotation of your hip. It can affect the inside muscles, your adductors, and also your hip flexors, and also cause problems around the knee because of those overloads. It becomes your friend. You can then use this ball to get into those tight, deep muscles and release them. When you use the ball, I find it best to use it in standing, although you can lay down on the ground and use it there. Why I prefer standing is you have better control over the, the movement of the ball and the pressure. So what you would do, you'd be away from the door a little bit or a, a solid wall. You bend your knees, put the ball on the wall and then lean against it and then gradually increase your weight and get nice and stable first. Once you've achieved that, then you start to roll around and try to localize the most tender spot. You can go up or down or sideways to localize the sore spot. You can go right laterally or right round to the back. And what's most important is that you find the tightest and tenderest spot for you. That's where you should be working. If it's not sore and tender, then you've got to move around till you find that spot because you're not on the right spot. Once you've achieved and saying, yes, that's the most tender spot, then you can really start to work getting into it but, and even bounce on it to really get a deep mobilization of that soft tissue and just keep working into it. Now, there might be a times when that spot is so tender you can't put any pressure then work around the spot and with, gradually with time, you'll find you can work into the spot the most sorest spot and once you get there you can sustain the pressure and you can really bounce into it to release. I usually find about three to five minutes work is enough to really release those tight muscle groups and allow you to move more freely. These spiky balls are very useful additions to your training regime or just simple self-management. They're not expensive, they're hardy, they last a long time and you can purchase these from any of our physiotherapy locations, including our Stepney Healthcare Hub and our branches at Blackwood, Henley Beach and Morfitt Vale.